So you guys are always asking me, what are you gonna do when you get to a venue that you can't roll all your stuff into? Well guys, 99% of the time, it's fine. And there's that 1%. Today's gig log is that 1%. What's going on my friends? DJ Lowstacks here. Welcome back or to the channel. Today we are in Glen Iver, Michigan. I'm filming this intro on my iPhone because I decided to take an impromptu walk this morning to check out the ceremony site and the view is amazing. So I wanted to share it with you guys, but let me flip the camera around. I'll show you our ceremony site and what we got going on today. So ceremony is gonna happen here. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna set up up over here. And then the couple's actually gonna come up the ski lift here. Not the couple, but the wedding party. And then check out this view. That's Lake Michigan. Pretty freaking awesome. So guests and the couple, wedding party, everybody's gonna be riding these lifts up. Pretty cool. They've got one of them that says just married in the back of it. It must be the one that they ride down at the end. And yeah, they'll come up and walk on over to ceremony site. So the downside to having the truck and trailer is you gotta park like this when there's no pass through parking. And the venue that we're headed to is way, way, way that way. And load in is gonna be miserable. Really wishing I had a van right about now. But damn, this is beautiful. All right, guys, so load in today is a little shitty. As you can see, we're pretty full. And I'm gonna have to push it up all this cobblestone, which is gonna suck. Why they would do this, I don't know. It should just be concrete, but whatever. That's the venue up there. So the problem is I can't get my truck any farther up because of that so we're just gonna push everything a few inches later all right guys so we had to move the trailer closer i can't get any closer than that because i don't want to run my truck through these pine tree branches so that's gonna have to work all right guys so the only good thing about today's load in is i didn't have to park a mile away so truck's right there venues right through the woods there behind me but this was probably top two worst load ins i've ever had it was not fun uh tonight when it's dark out trying to back my trailer up this cobblestone path is going to be challenging so wish me luck headed inside now to get set up glad i'm super early saw 11 ceremonies in three hours so we got some time. Let's go. All right guys, so here's the setup for today. Finally got it done. Took some time, but totems, movers. We're only using two of the Astera tubes tonight. And we're gonna be using 12 up lights. I brought 24 just in case. Get the custom start screen going there. Nothing's really changed around back at all. <laughs> Same stuff. Rack still the same. Got the rest of the stairs over here in case I do end up needing them. Running the donor wireless, but I am running cords for power. Just looping out of the uh, power out on the mover. 
that's it. So I'm gonna head back to the room and get changed here shortly, but let me show you a photo booth setup really quick. Pretty simple. So they actually made their own backdrop, which I think is really cool. So backdrop's right here behind me. It's their last name, bunch of cool picture frames and stuff. And then here's photo booth. So we got the custom start screen like we've been doing. And then using this wall as a backdrop. I might use some of the Astera tubes to light the uh, photo booth area later. Not sure if I'm gonna need it. There's a lamp over here and they said they're gonna leave the lights on in here, so we should be good. So ceremony stuff. We got all the ceremony gear right here on this cart. Uh, we're gonna get a ride with a, from a golf cart up to the ceremony site, which I showed you guys earlier. That's super cool. Um, yeah, getting started here in an hour and a half, so gotta get moving. Let's go. All right guys, so all set up. I got my truck parked where it needs to be parked. And I'm walking back to my room, which is clear on the other side of the property. Probably like a 15 minute walk. So walking back to my room, kind of get changed. Thank God it's not hot or raining out today because the logistics of this venue are just atrocious, man. Like it's tough. <laughs> this is, one of those venues where having a truck and trailer sucks. I really wish I had a van. And actually having everything on wheels kind of sucks. Because I'd rather carry everything, but I can't. Because everything's in flight cases and wheels and a DJ booth and all that stuff. So finally met one of those venues that <coughs> wheels suck at. So anyway, uh, walking back to the room. Gotta grab my iPad. This is probably really shaky because I'm filming with my phone because uh, my arms are dead tired from setting up and I didn't feel like holding up a DSLR camera. So, filming this with my phone. Might start doing a little more of this with the phone. I kind of like it, it's not bad. So, head back to the room, like I said, gotta grab my iPad, change my clothes. Uh, who knows, maybe I'll just grab a cocktail real quick because this is stressing me out. <laughs> I need to chill, get a Red Bull, head back. We got hour and 15 minutes before ceremony starts. And I really don't think ceremony is gonna kick off on time to be honest with you. I think it's gonna run. I think we're gonna be a little late on ceremony, but anyway, I will catch up to you guys after I change. up for ceremony it's cold 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 up here it was warmer up here earlier today for sure but guests are starting to arrive couples coming up the ski lift right there getting married right there So this is fun. I gotta go away down there. Rock and roller carts coming in super handy today. As you saw that, it just extended on its own. That was almost, uh, almost scary. This day is just, uh, it's a lot of fun.
What's going on, people? So, we're gonna recap this gig. And since there's been a theme of filming on my iPhone this weekend, we're just gonna use the iPhone. So, currently walking from the hotel, or my room, whatever you wanna call it, back to the venue to get my truck and trailer and load up. Because I didn't load up last night, I didn't want to have to try to back my trailer up that cobblestone path in the pitch black. It was hard enough in the daylight. Uh, main reason being those post holders coming out of the ground, those were ridiculous. So that was the main thing that was, you know, I'm, I'm good at backing up a trailer. I do it all the time. So that wasn't the problem. It was those post things. But anyway, the gig itself, this is probably really shaky, I'm sorry. Well, gig itself, it was good. It was way too long. Um, hindsight, I wish I would have had a little more involvement in the planning process because I totally did not realize they were doing a two o'clock ceremony and the wedding was going till 11. So uh, we still had fun. There was a lot of downtime though and a lot of lulls where people were just outside hanging out because obviously this is Michigan and the weather's not always nice. So people were outside chilling, but we made it through, five hour open dancing set. That was a little tough, uh, but <clears throat> by the time eight o'clock kicked around, you know, we had three hours left, made it through that first hour. Um, the last two hours they raged, so it worked out. I don't think the photo booth got used as much as I would have liked because it was in that other room. And once the like main, I guess party or the cocktail hour was done, the bar was open on the other side. And that's kind of where everybody was hanging. So uh, photo booth definitely didn't get used as much as I would have liked had it have been in the uh, the main room. But overall, guys, it was a pretty good gig. Um, like I said, load in sucked. I don't gotta reiterate that. Load in sucked. Uh, load out's gonna suck. And the three hour drive home isn't gonna be fun either. But uh, anyway, another one in the books. And well, uh, we got a car show today. We're doing a, doing a car show. So we're gonna do that here in a couple hours. And then, yeah, I gotta drive three hours home and then set up for a car show. But anyway, uh, next weekend, another wedding. I'll catch up to you guys then. As always, if you're new around here, please consider subscribing, click that like button, and click that notification bell so you can get notifications of upcoming videos. Peace. Yeah.